Hi guys, welcome to Healthfully Rooted Home. My name is Kiri and today I am sharing with you 23 secrets to a clean house that every homemaker should know. So I wanted this video to be very just informal as if we were sitting here together having a cup of tea, swapping tips on how to have a clean house. Go make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and let's dive in. So I recently did a video on my best homemaking tips and there's some overlap between the cleaning tips in that video and the tips that I'm going to give you today. Um, but there's a lot of new ones in this video and then there's a lot of tips in that video that I don't give in this video, mainly around cooking and just other lifestyle things. So check both videos out. I'll link the homemaking tips one below. My first secret to keeping a clean house is to have a schedule, a cleaning schedule and be stubborn enough to stick to it. So whether you want to use the word stubborn or disciplined, just be sure to stick to your cleaning schedule as best as possible. Now your cleaning schedule could look completely different than mine. I actually give you my cleaning schedule in um, one of the videos in my homemaking schedules series, which I'll also link below. But I have gone through stages in my life where I like to break the cleaning out in little pieces, like 20, 30 minutes per day. But actually right now I am really liking bulk cleaning my house and I spend two hours and I knock it all out in those two hours. And then for the rest of the week, I really don't have to worry about cleaning the house. Regardless though, I have a schedule and I stick to it. Of course, there's different seasons in your life, for just kind of getting by and that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, my second secret to a clean house is to only keep as much as you are willing to clean. Now, this tip is one where you really kind of have to get honest with yourself and think, okay, do I really want to be cleaning up 400 toys in this basket? Or would it be better to just maybe have five toys for my kids to play with um, and then you know just clean up those so declutter the rest only keep as much as you're willing to clean um, because everything you bring into your house big or small is something that you have to manage so the third tip is nothing profound but and I'm sure you've heard it before but is to make sure that everything has a home so like even just the simplest things, just make sure everything has a landing spot so that when you go around and you tidy up your house, you know exactly where to put it. My fourth tip is to put your house to sleep every night. People who have clean homes tend to put their house to sleep before they put themselves to sleep. So you can wake up with a fresh, clean start to the day, your house is looking good, and you feel good about where you're starting the day. Fourth secret to keeping a clean home is to utilize habit stacking. So habit stacking is when you form a new habit riding on the tails of a habit that you already have in place. So an example of that would be, let's say, um, putting your house to sleep, right? Well, you already have a habit of going to going to sleep at night. So make it a habit that before you go to sleep, you put your house to sleep so that you can remember, oh, before I go to sleep, it's time to put my house to sleep. There's a lot of other things you could do. Let's say you habit stack cleaning your bathroom mirror before you brush your teeth. Okay, my sixth secret to a clean house is to outsource whenever possible. If your budget allows for it, you could hire a cleaner. Um, if you have a niece who wants to make some extra money, you could have her come and do some decluttering or organizing or cleaning. Uh, but the secret to keeping a clean house is that typically people who have clean houses get help <laughs> whenever they possibly can. The seventh secret to keeping a clean house is to involve your children if you have children and do it by making it fun. So make house cleaning something that isn't dreadful. 
but actually make it fun. Teach your children how to clean the bathroom properly. Um, teach your children how to sweep the floors. Teach them and make it fun, even with the little ones. You can help them learn how to sort out the silverware and the dishwasher, you know, separating the forks from the spoons, things like that. It'll take longer, you know, to get a task done, but you are still knocking two birds out with one stone because you're playing with them and interacting with your children, but you're also getting some housework done. So involve your children. Eighth secret to keeping a clean house is that I reward myself when doing a task that I don't particularly enjoy doing. So for example, I don't particularly enjoy spending that two hours in my week cleaning the house, but I will reward myself by throwing on a podcast that I really love and listening to that while I clean the house. Um, maybe you hate folding laundry. Give yourself a little treat while you're folding laundry, something like that, but reward yourself and then you'll be more inclined to do it. Ninth secret to keeping a clean house might be my biggest secret <laughs> to keeping a clean house and that is to purchase attractive things. That way when your house isn't clean, it doesn't look terrible because all the mess that's around, it kind of all just looks nice. So purchase attractive things, your laundry basket, make it cute, your, you know, dishes, make them dishes that are actually pleasing to look at. There's a lot of different things that tend to pile up throughout the day. And if they look attractive and pleasing to you, then you'll be less stressed out by it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. My 10th secret to keeping a clean house is to know and prioritize your prime movers. And prime movers are those one to two tasks that really make you feel good about your house. Um, it's not a list, it's not a laundry list of things. It's not like 10 tasks. It's like one or two tasks that as long as you get those tasks done, you feel like you've won the day. Know those prime movers and prioritize those. My 11th secret to a clean house is to clean more often in less amount of time. So I know I said that I kind of changed my cleaning routine um, and I spend two, a two hour block of time cleaning, um, but I typically like to just clean for about 20, 30 minutes a day and break it up. It's just, I'm not really in a season of my life where I'm able to do that with where my toddler's at and things like that. But anyways, it works with even just like tidying up. So if you find yourself at the end of the day having this disaster of a house to clean up, try and break that out into chunks. Utilize habit stacking to, let's say after every meal, you make it a habit to clean up the house, clean up the dishes that you just used. So riding on the tail of a habit that you already have, which is eating, utilize habit stacking to create a new habit, which is tidying up and cleaning up the house so that you don't have a disaster at the end of the day. My 12th secret to keeping a clean house is to use good quality products. So I'm not just talking healthy cleaning supplies, which I'm all about using non-toxic cleaning supplies and things like that. Um, but use products that you actually enjoy using. If you're using a product that smells disgusting to you or that just doesn't work very well and you have to work harder, um, change that product out. Find something that does work for you because then you'll be more likely to do that task. So for example, vacuuming for me was a big issue and it's because I had this ancient vacuum that was so big and bulky and heavy. And often when I'm vacuuming, I'm wrangling a toddler at the same time. He wants to be held or he wants to help me. And so it was exhausting. I would be sweating, like literally sweating by the end of it. And so I went out and I got myself one of those stick vacuums. It's way lighter and I'm way less exhausted by the end of, you know, vacuuming the whole house. So use products that you enjoy. Okay, I love this next tip because it's such, it's such a good reminder for me. So number 13 is to understand that you have a finite amount of discipline and use that to your advantage, okay? So people who have clean homes, they tend to maybe slack somewhere else in life. 
whether that's exercise, stretching, I, I don't know. There's, you know, a million other things that you could be slacking on. Um, but it's this concept that was brought about from, let me look up her name, um, Dr. Chloe Carmichael. And I was listening to a podcast. And so she was talking about how people have a finite amount of discipline and that they're even able to have in their life. And so, for example, let's say you are super disciplined in your cleaning routine, but maybe that means you need to loosen the reins a little bit on your deep cleaning routine. That's what I've done. I'm very disciplined in my daily cleaning routine, you know, weekly cleaning type stuff, but deep cleaning pretty much never happens at this stage in my life. Um, so I've loosened the reins on deep cleaning and I just focus on the daily stuff a little bit more. 14th secret to keeping a clean house is to shift your mindset. So rather than thinking that dishes are always a problem, they're always stacking up, be grateful that you have people to cook for and that you have dishes that you have to clean. Simple mindset shifts like that will totally change your attitude from being ungrateful to being grateful. Okay, my 15th secret to a clean house is to always be thinking about what you can do right now that will make future you happy. Let's say you have an extra three minutes, maybe doing a quick three minute tidy up will make future you at six o'clock at night or seven o'clock at night, very happy that you tidied up. My 16th secret to a clean house is to have secret hiding places. I would be willing to bet that most people who keep a clean house actually have a hiding spot where it's not looking so clean. So number 17 is to take the friction out of cleaning. And by that, I mean, let's say you, all your cleaning supplies are downstairs and you are really struggling to clean the bathrooms upstairs because you don't wanna drag all the cleaning supplies upstairs, clean the bathrooms, then drag it back downstairs then take some cleaning supplies, maybe buy some extra bottles of cleaning supplies and bring it all upstairs. Bring everything you need upstairs in each bathroom. That way, if you have an extra three minutes, you can wipe down that bathroom really quickly because your cleaning supplies are right there and you'll make future you very happy. Number 18, be hospitable. Most people won't tell you this, but Sometimes you go to a house that looks really clean and that person actually doesn't usually keep a clean house. They just cleaned up right before you got there. So if that is you, there's no shame in that. Just be more hospitable and then you'll clean your house more. <laughs> Number 19 is a very practical tip. I talked about this in my homemaking tips video, but do one load of laundry every day. And then my number 20 tip is to do one load of dishes every single day. By doing those every single day, your dishes won't ever stack up and your laundry won't ever stack up. Number 21, you will really like if you're competitive like me, and that is to create a cleaning challenge. So if you are like me and you love a good challenge, I like to set a timer. Depending on how much time I have, maybe it's five, 10, 15 minutes, and I will set that timer and I'll set a task. Maybe it's organizing the kitchen or uh, tidying up the house or sweeping and vacuuming. And I'll try and get that task done in that amount of time or get as much done in that amount of time as I can. Number 22 is to understand the season in life that you are in. If you're in a season of just getting by, you are gonna need to drop some balls. The best tip that I ever heard for this is to rotate which balls you drop when you're in one of those seasons. So maybe you need to drop cleaning the house for a while because you are spending eight hours nursing your child. <laughs> That's okay. So just understand the season in life you're in and know that it's just a season, it'll pass. Number 23, this might be one of my favorite tips, is to take pride in your home. Whether you are in your forever home or you're just a pit stop along the way, take pride in it. Take pride in the things that you have because you'll be more likely to clean it that way. Whether it's learning how to bake homemade bread so that your house is filled with fresh baked goodness every day or 
learning how to decorate on a budget or whatever it is, just take pride in your home so that it's somewhere that you and your family enjoys being and that you actually want to clean it and you're motivated to clean it and make it look nice. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my 23 secrets to a clean house. Be sure to watch my homemaking tips video and then I'll also link my homemaking schedules playlist.